I was going to watch this video before I actually made the commentary, but I actually already know what it's going to say, so I'm just going to make the commentary. Okay, so this is a response video to, it's an office hour, I guess, okay, to um, the spoiled girly support group, and it's about nepotism. So why are all these Nepo babies able to follow their passions and turn their passions into careers? And why do people like Emma Chamberlain, Issa Rae, and um, Kelly Stamps matter so much? Matter so much. And not only should they matter so much, they should matter more than the Nepo babies. I honestly feel like if you are personally not a Nepo baby, you cannot pay attention to what they're doing. Like you honestly have to, you have to zone their experiences out. Here's another reason though why um, let's go back for a second. Black women, no matter where you are on the spectrum, you have to acknowledge Beyonce, Lori Harvey, and Jasmine Tukes for like having the spots. Okay, so like Jasmine Tukes is the Whole Foods stay at home supermodel mom that all the girlies want to be. She has the spot. She's all, she's at 100%. There's no other girl on the internet right now who's got that spot. Maybe Gigi Hadid. Gigi Hadid, maybe. But she's not even married, so she doesn't have the guy. Jasmine has the husband. She's got the career. She's got the looks. She's got the body. She's got the baby. She's got all of it. Jasmine Tukes and crew have that mom, mom, stay-at-home, supermodel mom spot, and everybody else can suck it because y'all don't got it. Then we have, like, Beyonce. Um, and I can't even put, like, I, I thought that Herbie Revelis made a really good point here. Like, we can't compare Taylor Swift and Beyonce because all of the cultural differences, there's an age gap beyond, like, also I thought Khadija made another video about this that is pretty important to watch. It was a Beyonce the Capitalist. I think, um, Fab Socialism has made another video about Beyonce the Capitalist. Beyonce, like all black women, like she has uh she created her own lane like she created the lane and then society changed right beyonce had the bell bottoms and the beeper and the bills and then we were all like bills 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 beyonce was like say my name say my name and everybody was like beyonce okay <laughs> beyonce was like look i'm bootylicious everybody it's in the dictionary now okay like beyonce made the where were you when the digital dropped I know where I was because I remember the exact conversation I had at work. We had never seen anything like this. I think we shut down the store for 15 minutes when the digital drop happened because nobody knew. It was hard to even comprehend what was happening. Like managers closed the doors. It was just no, it didn't even make, we had never seen anything like that. It was a, it was all a whole bunch of music videos, an entire album. Where were you when that digital drop? Self-titled change music in terms of like M-U-S-I-C. Nothing in mu the music business has never been the same. And so Beyonce. So I don't know. Like um, the fact that she's been able to do all of that and remain re extremely relevant. It's just so fucking relevant. She's like a cultural icon. So let's call Beyonce the cultural icon who has the shit. But then we have like Lori Harvey. Now Lori Harvey is like the beauty influencer that all the girlies want to be, but she has the beauty. This is what I will continue to say because everybody just continues to like play the card like natural beauty. We all have something light skin, weaves. I don't know whatever the thing is that everyone's like. There's not one version of beautiful. There isn't. There's a lot of different versions of beautiful. That's the first thing. Beauty comes in all skin tones. Beauty does come in all shapes and sizes, but we do have to say like there are like preferences. So Lori Harvey is just like topping the list of like the femme beauty, all of it. Like it's just Lori has her own little lane. She's just extremely beautiful, extremely privileged, and just she has it. So let her have her. She doesn't have to have any talent. Her talent is being beautiful and being female. And that's all she needs. And we have to let her have that. Well, I mean, you can be in Delulu land and be like, 
there's somebody who's better, but, like, there's actually no, I don't know. I gotta say, like, there's a lot of female influencers. Like, Lori is, like, topping even the, the, here's a thing also I want to talk about, because, like, the thing is, like, the Nepo Baby conversation is interesting, but for so long, it's just excluded the black Nepo Babies, and finally we have, like, black Nepo Babies, like Willow and Jaden Smith, Lori Harvey to an extent, Yara Shahidi, um, yeah. But at the same time that we have the Nepo babies, we have Issa Rae occupying a lot of space at the exact same time. We have Kelly Stamps occupying, like, more space, I would say, than the Nepo babies and getting kind of more opportunities. Like, I can't describe to you, like, the societal impact that Kelly Stamps has had. And, I mean, unless she just decides to quit, she's kind of changed culture and American society for the better um, in this incredible way. And it's just because she's born black in America and middle class. That in and of, and Christian. Christian, black, American, and middle, and, and female, and pretty. She's pretty black, middle class, female, American. I mean, she she hit the jackpot because she created a YouTube channel. If Kelly Stamps decided to make decided to make a channel that just an, analyzed her own videos, like, oh, I started from here. Here was a phase. Here was another phase. You know how Vogue has like 76 questions with um, blah, blah, blah? Maybe I'll actually make this video in hopes that she like actually does it for herself because I could make a whole channel that was dedicated to like ideas that Kelly Stamps should do to make her channel better, right? She's incredible. Like, just, I hope Kelly, I don't think that Kelly subscribes to my channel, but if she does, I would say any little idea that you have, you should do it. You can make an Instagram account that was just dedicated to your lip glosses. That would do extremely well. You could make an Instagram account just dedicated to, like, all of the coffees that you drink. That would do extremely well. Like, any little niche about, like, your own personality that you decided to, like, dive into would do so well. Because there are so many black American girls who just have no idea how to be middle class. The entire culture is almost like... Like, a lot of black American women are just throwing away their life chances. Anyway, so let's go back for a second because we were trying to stay on topic in terms of, like... You are not a Nepo baby, so what's next? Now, here's where you have to start making some sense, some dollars out of sense. And here's what I mean by that. Life costs money. Maybe you're not a Nepo baby, so you don't have a trust fund, but your life wasn't free. Your parents, somebody, the government, if you were an orphan, some people also, it's so funny, people think that orphans in America, that they just are poor and have nothing. This isn't true. You know that, like, foster families are getting, like, isn't it, like, $3,000 per kid per month to raise that orphan? The government just gives the families that money. So $3,000 every month until you turn 18 is not no money. That helps with clothes. It helps with, like, food. Also, you get public school, okay? So you just have, like, opportunities to understand more and more about society. Somebody was paying your fucking bills all the way until you're 18. Now, when you're 18, you do have to go out on your own and create something for yourself. So if you weren't a Nepo baby and you don't have all of this privilege, like, you still have your entire life to go work for what you want and build it. Brick by boring brick. There's a whole video that Paramore created, brick by boring brick. This is life. Like, most people are going to be born middle class, and most of us are going to build our empires ourselves. And that's not a bad thing. Life happens in the middle of building your empire. Sometimes it's one subscriber at a time. Sometimes it's one Instagram post at a time. And it isn't glamorous. It isn't. It isn't really that fun. It's kind of boring and, and arduous, really, but you 
got to do it. I just your life costs money your life costs money so I said that I was gonna post videos about the cost of living tonight and I wanted I want to script that video because I want it to actually be useful but let's talk about it very briefly <clears throat> I'm not gonna give you guys California numbers because that would be just unfair and unrealistic like, I saw the old apartment that I was living in. They were like, we're having a rent special. And a studio is like $3,500 a month. So, obviously, we're not going to talk about those numbers. But, like, I would say in most, in a part of, like, middle America in the south or something, uh, maybe not Atlanta, right? Like, But, like, in, like, Tennessee, like, I live in Nashville, I would say, like, most apartments, you, you could probably get an apartment for, like, fifteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars if you're one person if you're gonna live alone if you want a roommate i would say between like eight hundred and a thousand dollars might be like a moderate amount if you do any job you're probably gonna make a hundred dollars a day so you have to work like eight days um a month just to aff afford your rent so that's a thing You can do that. You can give eight hours, okay? And then come up with $100. And you can do that 10 times. Or did I? Yeah. I kind of said that right. Anyway. Um, obviously, you get more skills. You can make more money. I'm talking about the bare minimum, though. Like... Because some people, for some reason, we're still having conversations about people who have no effort, people with no jobs, the underclass of people who are still city. City Girls are great because they made an entire album about the underworlds and how you can just maneuver the underworld as just a girl, okay? That's why that's why uh, JT had to say all she's bringing to the table is a cell phone. That's all she can bring to the table. Like, I've said that a million times, but I'm honestly saying that. What she has is the fucking cell phone. That's why, that's what she can bring to the table. So, if you're starting from the table with the fucking cell phone, then I would encourage you to get a job so you can put some information into that cell phone so that you can have more to bring to the table than a fucking cell phone. Peep game, because that's kind of like a pathetic quote. And it's not the flex that I think she thought it was, so... Let's say that. Hmm. I really like this one. It's like dry and bitter. I'm here for it. Hmm. There's other bills. Okay. Like the wine that I bought tonight cost $20. My dinner each night costs twenty dollars. If I go to the wine bar with my friend, it costs. We've been spending like a hundred and fifty dollars each night. He pays for it, but like, yeah, I mean, it's like dinner for both of us is like forty dollars, and then the wine bar is like a hundred and fifty dollars. And we've been going like twice a week, so. I mean, we go to dinner to eat food like every night, but we go to the wine bar like twice a week. So, like, on one night for two of us, that's $200. Cell phones, electricity, internet. Internet, $75, okay? Cell phone. I have two cell phones. $200. Um, my my ut electricity utility bill, I think it came, and last month it was, like, $44. So... Not free. Not free. My bus pass, $65. Every time I get on the bus, $2. $2, okay? 
It ain't free. It costs money. Money, money, money. And just remember that every hour that you work, you could put another dollar in your pocket and you could buy another bottle of wine. And you could come here and sip with me. I have three, I have more than 3,000 videos on this channel. You could binge all of those videos. I mean, if you've got the Wi-Fi and the time and nothing better to do, like if you literally are lacking hobbies, I would encourage you to go back through my videos of shit that I've done and go do that. Like, I've like made up hobbies. Like when I, li when I lived next to UC Berkeley, I would go to the campus at night with a boom box that I got for $3 at the dollar store, okay? Turn on Mona Leo and dance to Mona Leo. That video is literally on here. You could find it and dance with me. Hi, Perk. Oh, no, you came up to say hi. Come here. Come say hi to our, our new our subscribers. They want to meet you. Oh. Guys, this is Perk. Perk, say hi. Say hi. No, 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 say hi. Say my name is Perk. And I am a kitty kitty. She's so cute, right? I know, she, guys, she's two pounds now. I named her Perk. What is your name? It's Perk Kibidi Tukes after Leah Kibidi and Jasmine Tukes because she's really cute. It's really funny because when I go to sleep, she likes to walk on my face. But now she's going to play with her brother. I'm not popular. He's popular. Anyway. So maybe put some comments in the description box about what you guys want to know specifically about finances because I am going to turn this into a finance channel, mostly for the algorithm, but other reasons too. Mm-hmm. <laughs>